My name is uh, Andrea Cavallaro and my uh, research area is multimedia uh, signal processing. Sensors are uh, everywhere uh, nowadays. Uh, we have uh, the widespread uh, CCTV uh, cameras in our city, but also uh, mobile phones that are very uh, powerful uh, sensors that we have in our, in our pockets. Uh, think uh, of the camera, of the microphone, and of the computational power that mobile phone uh, have uh, today. Uh, and in addition to this, there is uh, locational information that can be exploited, a quite uh, powerful uh, computational uh, unit, and communication as well. And the uh, communication capabilities, uh, the processing power, and the quality of the sensors are increasing at a dramatic uh, rate. Our research aim at exploiting uh, the data collected by uh, multimedia sensors to try to make sense of this data, but also to enable uh, a range of applications going from entertainment uh, to sport, security and medical application. I will just give you a, a few examples of our uh, research um, areas and then provide you with a link uh, to the videos uh, you, can, uh, you can enjoy. Uh, the first example I want to uh, provide you with is uh, in sports. Uh, we all uh, know that when there is a high-profile uh, event, uh, there are several cameras on the pitch, for example in case of uh, a Premier League uh, football match, and a director will uh, choose the uh, best camera at each time instant. Uh, the work we are doing in our uh, group aim at um, recommending to a director which of the, for example, 12 uh, cameras are uh, the best uh, to select and then the director will use the re re this re recommendation to take uh, a decision. But also uh, we would like uh, to uh, provide a user uh, to define the preferences on how to generate the final cut and remove uh, the director whenever a director is not available or is too expensive. For example, uh, you could generate a video uh, that has your uh, favorite football player as center of uh, the entire video, or a summary that is of different uh, duration depending on how much time you want to spend watching uh, your video. So we have two types of application in sports. One is uh, how to generate a recommendation for a director, and the second one is to use this information, and on top of this, uh, to use some algorithms that are using artificial uh, intelligence to generate a final cut automatically. And this final cut will be personalized for a single uh, user. In the area of personalization, we're also looking at how to generate uh, souvenir DVDs uh, for tourism. When, for example, you go on uh, the London Eye, uh, you will have at the end of the round, after you have enjoyed the uh, view of London, uh, a picture taken of you. We want to bring this to the next uh, level. And, uh, for example, we want to use the uh, set of cameras that are available in a museum, or in an amusement park, or in a city, to generate a summary video of a tourist that is uh, walking around uh, the museum or uh, the city. So we would exploit the capabilities of the currently available CCTV cameras also to generate summaries of a holiday uh, trip. And the third example I want to uh, offer you uh, today is uh, that of uh, security. We already mentioned several times CCTV cameras. Uh, we are seeing them every day in buses, uh, in public places, in shops. And a lot of information is generated and stored every day. And in most of the cases, uh, surveillance videos are checked after a fact uh, has happened. Uh, our research is aimed at uh, exploiting this data so that uh, we can recommend to um, surveillance uh, guards uh, that one of the cameras is observing a particular uh, behavior, a behavior that is strange or a behavior that is different from what the camera has seen in uh, the past. So we have two types of applications here. The first one is how to spot a specific behavior that we have instructed the camera to find. For example, someone running in a place where people usually walk. Or uh, a couple uh, of people meeting in a place that is a suspicious place. Or on the other hand, we can exploit the information that have been collected uh, by the cameras uh, over time uh, to learn what are typical behavior of people in a certain uh, area so that we can then define what is an abnormal behavior. It's a bit like what happens with credit card companies that are looking at the uh, millions and millions of transactions to spot something that is uh, possibly a fraud. But in this case, we're doing this not on financial transactions, but on the pixels collected uh, from uh, the cameras. So, uh, in summary, what we are doing with our multimedia signal processing research 
is to extract uh, knowledge from the wealth of data that are collected every day from multimedia sensors. We have talked mainly about cameras because we are, you are familiar with this, uh, but also we exploit uh, cross information between cameras and microphones, microphones and 3D uh, sensors. Uh, and the application uh, that uh, are enabled by our research are ranging from uh, entertainment, we saw a generation of summaries for sports or generation of video automatically for multiple board cameras, uh, to security, trying to uh, extract relevant information that is related to, uh, for example, a possible crime automatically or uh, as a recommendation for a surveillance guard. We are very excited about our research and uh, we want to share uh, with you our video results. So uh, I'm inviting you to uh, have a look at our uh, YouTube channel that is called Smart Cameras at www.youtube.com forward slash smart cameras. Thank you.